everyone, so today's video is going to be a large haul. I went to my local pet hut and my local pet store um, and all these items are for one of my best friends from school and she's getting another rabbit for her birthday and I thought that I would buy her some rabbit supplies. Um, she already does have one rabbit but she said she'd like some other stuff because I did ask her what she'd like for her birthday and she said she'd like some other stuff for the new rabbit so I went out and got some stuff for the new rabbit I also got some stuff for the guinea pig which I am adopting from my auntie which I will do a video all about as soon as I've got her but I'm not getting her until after holiday so I haven't gone crazy on buying things for her but this is what I've got for um, the rabbit and some of it's for the guinea pig as well so I'll just dive straight into it so the first thing I got was from my local pet store and it was a nutty stick well from the small and furry and this is um, just one of those balls. Um, it is, oh, let me cover the place. It's, it doesn't say what wood it is, but it's one of those that is safe. And it costs two thirty nine, and it just got some monkey nuts in the middle. Um, sorry if you can hear the banging. It's the builders next door. But yeah, I thought that her rabbit might like that and I'm still yet to decide whether we're actually going to give it to her or keep it for the guinea pig. But we'll see. The next thing I got for her rabbits are these Toys and Trees um, pair. And I thought this would be quite cute for her rabbits to toss around because I did ask on my Facebook um, if anyone knew what Toys rabbits like mainly. And they said things they could toss and I thought this is quite light so they can toss this and chew. And hopefully um, the rabbits will really enjoy that. And the price of this was two forty nine, so not too bad. The next thing I got is one of these activity treat balls, and it's one with cute carrots. Um, and this costs three ninety nine, so that was expensive. But you know, I know that the rabbits or my guinea pig will love, love, love this. I then got some Burgess XL apple snacks for her bunnies and these look delicious and these cost $1.99. The next thing I got were these stickles and these were the Timothy Hay and Herbs ones and they look divine and hopefully her bunnies will love them. They cost $2.49 so that's not too expensive and they don't have any eggs or seeds so they are perfectly fine for rabbits or guinea pigs. So I then had to get two of the carrot play patches because they were reduced. Now they were originally um, eight ninety nine, and then they were reduced. Sorry, I couldn't read that. And then that was five. Now they're now five ninety nine. So it's a whole three pounds off essentially, um, which is really really good. And I've heard so many good reviews. So I just had to get them, and I ended up getting two because I couldn't decide which one to get because one was more orange, but it looked a bit more messy. And then these looked um, not as orange, but they look neater. And then I was like, which one? I couldn't choose. So I got both, and one will go to my friend's bunnies, and the other will either go to the guinea pig or a contest or a friend. I think it's going to go to either my guinea pig or a friend because it's a bit heavy to post. But yeah, I thought that um, her bunnies will love playing with that. If you have a guinea pig, comment below if your guinea pig likes these because I'm unsure as to whether I should um, give a whole thing like this and then the guinea pig hate it. So she's never had toys before, so I don't know if they should be interactive or not. But um, let me know below if your guinea pig likes these. I then got a pack of these corn rattle rollers um, for her rabbits. I thought one each for her rabbits and hopefully they will toss and play with them. These cost two ninety nine, which I think was a really, really good price and hopefully her rabbits will love them. I then got one of these food bowls, um, food bowls actually, not a bowl. And um, these are the ones that you hang up and I'm probably going to give this to the guinea pig, um, not to my friend's rabbits um, because I actually did buy it for the guinea pig because it's never had um, veg before. Well, it has okay, it's had occasional bits of veg, but not like proper veggies, which it should have as a guinea pig. So I'm hoping to make it as interactive as possible and as fun as possible to encourage it to eat all its veggies. And I may put hay with lots of herbs and um, forage in here to encourage it to eat hay as well because it's never eaten hay before. Well, it has, but very, again, very little and not the amount it should. So um, it has a bell and it hangs up and I am gonna give this to the guinea pig, I think. But if I do end up giving it to my friend's rabbits, I'll definitely buy one for the guinea pig. 
I then got this for the guinea pig. Um, this is actually definitely for the guinea pig because I was going to buy one anyway um, when it came to the time. But because it was an offer, I got it then. Um, I didn't say how much the hay ball was. It was two forty nine, which is quite expensive. But anyway, this cost three pound, which I thought was quite cheap, as it did originally cost four. Again, because the price was cut, I decided that I would. Um, buy it for the pig and it's just a hay rack I think it's really open so I might just show you what it looks like so I just opened it and it looks like that um, I don't know whether you're meant to like it's got these flappy things they don't seem to pull down I'm not really sure how you do this yet <laughs> but I'm pretty sure oh what's this but yes anyway I thought that would be perfect for the pig to stuff it with hay um, obviously it keeps the hay tidier and cleaner but there will be loads of hay on the floor because this guinea pig needs to learn to eat lots and lots to trim her teeth down. I then got my friend some Naturals Summerfield um, herbage and in here is carrot slices, pea flakes, ribwort, marigold blossoms, sunflower petals, dandelions, hibiscus blossoms, rose blossoms and that is all um, perfectly safe for a rabbit and um, a guinea pig as well so if I decide not to give this to her I'll keep it for the guinea pig as I do have some treats in the drawer which I can give to her rabbits instead um, but yes that sounds lovely and I'm really hoping her rabbits will love it I then got her one of these Woody's Fruity Spinners from Board and Breaker again um, all of this sauce is basically from Board and Breaker and um, it's the uh, pear one and hopefully her rabbits will chew the pears. If they don't, she can remove them and just use it as a kebab because you can twizzle that and take it off. Um, so that is super cute and I'm sure she'll really love it. It's also got a sucker in case it was like a tank, but it's not so she, ooh, so she can just hang it up from the hutch which they're both going to live in. And then lastly, I got her one of the Woody's caterpillars because I had to and um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to give this to her because I already have one. And it costs one ninety nine, which is quite cheap. And again, it's from Rosewood, and it's the cute caterpillar with the face, which everyone wants. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. We'll see you next time. Bye!